Hey everybody, Steven here. I wanted to make a video today covering kind of my experience with uh, Ex Libris for my first book that I published. Um, I wish I had done a little bit more research when I did that. Uh, it was It's my first book. I'm now working with uh, Amazon service CreateSpace, uh, which has its own issues with it that I've run into, but I'll cover that in another video. But <clears throat> Uh, a couple years ago, I published my first book, which is right here for my son. It's a kid's book. It's uh, Color Me Zombied. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description box for the book if you do want it. If you actually contact me directly, I'll try and make sure that me and my son sign a copy for you and we'll send it to you. Um, as far as the description of it, it's kind of like, uh, if anybody's seen Pleasantville, it's kind of like that. There's a... Uh, an aspect of that but uh, there's a chemical spill turns everybody into zombies it also turns the town kind of black and white with gray like there is no color and my son discovers in the book because he's the uh, main character <clears throat> he actually discovers paint in the garage and then he proceeds to kind of paint the town and uh, some people have a problem with that and it's kind of his journey with that and uh, we're working on the second one now that one's called Undyed Nightmare that'll be out hopefully within the next month uh, I'll be doing a follow-up video and podcast covering that as well. But like I said, for today, really just covering my my experience with Ex Libris, and I'm on the website right here. Um, and the first thing I've noticed with this, and I guess this kind of just speaks to <clears throat> the type of company that you would expect it to be that I uh, just diving in the first time, uh, I, I didn't think about, right? I just wanted somebody to publish it, and uh, I ended up calling them. But the first thing that you'll see is discount codes like discounts like we're throwing a sale and it's gonna be 25% off for your service or 50% off and I think I signed up for 50% off my service everything I ended up paying for by the way ended up costing about five thousand dollars and I had to do a payment plan for it because I ended up doing their marketing thing which I saw zero return on and it was like 500 bucks um, but the way this company makes money is not necessarily by publishing the book and the small cut that they'll get from that, but it really is from um, them selling you on their services. So they're a service company, um, and, and as far as the, the end product with it, yes, they have some standards that they want to meet, but uh, they're going to get their bulk of the money just from that. So the way the whole process worked for me personally is I called up, I had some questions, um, I got set up with a representative who then sent me over to, once I actually committed to it, I, I got turned over to somebody else that was handling kind of the inside of the interior and with that I sent over all the, uh, the PDF files and the um, Photoshop files that I had and because uh, I did the art with this this is everything in here that is, is what I've done um, so with that I, I ended up uh, having to send over those the story um, from there you end up figuring out all right what's the cut of the book and I had my cut different and so we had to scale it down to meet their kind of standard size that they publish in for their kids book which I was really limited on um, I, I think I only got like two or three options um, now create space has a huge list of options so you do have more options with that uh, from there we had to edit like they had to redo the text because they didn't like the way the text was uh, so we had to go back and forth on that it just turns into a whole process with doing that the scaling issues with the book um, and uh, from there you end up having to fill out paperwork so that they can do your author bio uh, you do get a website with it that they set up and then you get that for a year um, but it's hard to direct traffic there uh, when you do have that you're better off just kind of doing social media Instagram Twitter Facebook all of that at this point um, <clears throat> and the, the the aside from the fact that this cost a lot more money now that I'm figuring out with um, dealing with create space uh, I mean I would have to argue with whoever I was talking to at the time with certain aspects that I really wanted done for my book whether that was measurements for it, the look of it uh, they would do a cut and then they change it and they'd send it to me and be different than what I had asked for it's a whole process and one of the things that I learned with this is uh, as far as my knowledge this may be an American company but um, all of their employees are not I, I kept getting shifted to call centers in India and they would I mean obviously they're trying to front as an American company with it so you would hear all right they have a regular American name um, maybe John or something like that or Susan but clearly like you can tell they have an accent um, 
And sometimes it would seem, it would take me a while to actually pick up the fact that they do have an accent. And, uh, and I know that they go through training for all of that. And I, I'm not trying to say that there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but I thought I was dealing with an American company um, with this. So I, I was kind of thrown off with the fact that I was, it was almost like I'm dealing with uh, a company outside the US and I wanted everything involved here if I could get it. Now, maybe the company's based here and they've outsourced everything there, but there's communication breakdowns that happen along the way with that, where I was trying to get one point across and it just wouldn't gel with the person just because of the language barriers that I was dealing with. And that was just my own personal experience um, with that. So it ended up turning into a longer process than I wanted it to be. I mean, it took me two years just off and on just to do the writing, the art, and all that other stuff. And got to actually finally to the point where we're gonna publish it and it took another six to seven months just to go through kind of the hoops that they had me going through. And <clears throat> um, as far as the, the actual quality of the book, it, it's fine. I, I like the quality of the book. I have half matte, half gloss finish. Um, the quality is, is good. I will say that the quality with the book is, is really, really good. Um, you do get an author lo login for your author center on the website and with that you get to check in like how many books have I sold and all that other stuff. Their marketing service was garbage. I mean, 500 bucks, they sent it out to all these news stations and they send you this long list. And the second I saw that I realized I could have sent out emails saying, hey, you look at this book, but it might not go anywhere. <laughs> like. Um, just sending out an email isn't going to do anything for me. I don't care if you're sending it to a news station or wherever it is. You have to have your foot in the door already where they're actually going to consider that. I did get a review from the book from a company. I didn't even know the company. Um, just having a review, but I could have asked any of my friends or uh, anybody around me that I might kind of be put in contact with, just networking with people to find somebody that's a teacher or something like that that, that could have done that for me. Um, so. It was good, but I could have done that most of that myself. So it did feel like I just wasted the $500 on that. Um, overall, I wouldn't do it again. Obviously, I'm going with Create Space. If you're wondering if this is a service that you actually should do yourself, um, if it's not a kid's book, if it's more or less just like, all right, it's a long chapter book, um, maybe. I, I say that loosely because your percentage, and you can go to createspace.com and, and look at there's a royalty page. So um, basically they charged me $10 to make this. And this is, they didn't even put the, you know, they put the page numbers, you can barely see them. This is 26 pages. They charged me $10 to make this, okay? I have to sell it for 20. Um, with Create Space, uh, I have 58 pages with the next book. It's a longer book. And um, full color, all of that. Um, I hired an artist and me and my, my best friend uh, ended up doing the story together and tons of content in it. But 58 pages, it's going to cost us about $5.10 for them to make it and ship it to us directly. And then we get to turn around and sell it for 20 still and, and actually recoup some more of the profits with that. And they'll set that price on Amazon and all those other channels. And <clears throat> with that, um, we get to retain more of it where they're, I mean, this is 26 pages, they're printing more, right? Uh, obviously the cut is different. Um, our next one's gonna be six by nine. Uh, I think this is a, a close to a nine by nine or a 10, 10 by 10. Um, so the cut is a little bit different, but there's more material still with the 58 pages with that other book. So um, they're trying to recoup as much money as possible. And that's, I mean, that's what they're kind of after with that. They also end up calling you a whole bunch afterwards. Hey, are you working on another project? Can we publish that for you? Can you do this? Can you do that? Um, even after the fact, I've told them to please stop calling me. So that's kind of a problem with that. Um, I've actually received ro royalty checks from the book, um, although I haven't sold an insane amount of copies from this. I usually end up just selling. Now, that's the other thing too, because of that, I, I got 50 of these. Um, with shipping, it was $550 to get 50 books. Um, the create space one, I think I'm gonna get 80 for like 400. Like there's there's a huge gap with that. Um, but you can check on create space, you can check the royalty page and you can see how much you're gonna make potentially off that based off the cut. Uh, is it full color, is it black and white, all of that. Um, so overall create space has been a, a better experience. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video on that because there has been some things 
that I've had to call about, and that's kind of been a problem um, that sucks, but they do have more resources there. Um, you can, if you want to, buy uh, an interior proofing package, an editing package. You can hire somebody to do your cover and all that other stuff for you if you need. You can hire an artist from that that they're going to work. I didn't have to do any of that. I went with a freelance arter, artist Sorry, that uh, it was a lot cheaper than uh, uh, me kind of doing it all myself and spending the time to do that. On this book, I'll probably, probably spend about $2,000 and, um, I mean, 1800 of that, or sorry, 2500 if, if I'm including the books that I'm about to buy. Um, about 1800 of that was for the artist, and then the rest, you have to buy your ISBN number, which is $100 on CreateSpace. Now here, they're going to do all that for you with like Ex Libris. When you pay for that huge package, they are actually doing the ISBN number. They're registering it with... Uh, companies like Amazon and Walmart and the larger distribution channels create space you opt into those it's an Amazon service so obviously it's going to sell on Amazon and over in Europe uh, via Amazon but you actually get to choose if you want to do those um, other channels or not but that's an easy process it doesn't take a long here you're, you're like paying to have access to do that right um, so overall I would say honestly I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless it was just like you, you don't want to deal with doing a lot. You don't want to have to um, kind of actually almost put the book together and format it and all that other stuff. Um, and you were wanting more of a hands-off approach. Maybe, and I, I got to go back and forth on that because I, I might almost just um, hire CreateSpace, to be honest, to do that or some other company to do that versus here because, like I said, they're, they're going for kind of getting the money just for the fact that they're gonna help you to publish the book. That's where they're gonna make their money. On top of the fact that they're taking a cut of the book also, um, which is a larger cut than I've seen with other companies. So uh, I'm gonna kind of leave it at that. You can go to xlibras.com and check out some of the stuff for yourself. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, um, any concerns that I might be able to help out with, just with my own personal process, and I'm sure there are people out there that have, have been had uh, better experiences with Ex Libra, but now that I'm looking at the breakdown of not only the costs that are associated with it, but how much you're going to get as far as royalties back, to me, hands down, at least for right now, Create Space um, is, is way better. And uh, with uh, it, it being a company of Amazons, I mean, you're already put into the pipeline. A lot of people buy stuff off Amazon. I get to publish it as a Kindle. Um, once I get the interior proof and I approve everything, I actually get to just, they're going to convert it over to Kindle ready format for me for free. Um, now with this, it, as part of my package, I got that, but it wasn't Kindle. It's, I actually have 50, um, the little cards you can hand out, um, that, uh, have a code on it, but it's like a weird app that it, it does that through. It's not actually Kindle. So it, like you're asking people to download this separate app to get that. It's, it's not a, it, easy thing to, to sell and I think I just got those and I don't even think I can sell those to be honest I haven't even looked into it um, I did get promotional material I got a couple posters I have uh, was it bookmarks um, business cards that they gave you as part of all that stuff but honestly I could make all of that for a hundred bucks right and, and I don't need it you don't end up not handing that stuff out really um, so like I said, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, if you've gone through Exlibris and you have a different opinion or a different experience, let me know also. Let me know how it went for you. Um, or if you've actually published with CreateSpace, I want to hear from you also, or some other service. Maybe there's some other service I haven't uh, really seen out there. Um, I'm going to be publishing a handful more books in the, in the next uh, two years. I um, decided to partner with my friend. Uh, Isaac to get those done so we're gonna be kind of collaborating and trying to pump out more kids books so I will have more news on that in the future as well uh, I hope this helps I hope this helps anybody that is actually um, curious as to whether or not this is a good service or not so I want to thank you guys for watching if you want to keep kind of uh, tabs on what's going on with the whole process subscribe for me and you will see as I get closer and closer 
to having this second book, Undyed Nightmare, kind of finished and out there for you guys to buy. Also, like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description box for this book if you wanna buy that, or just message me directly. Like I said, I'll actually get you a signed copy. We'll figure out how to do the exchange for um, the money. It's still just gonna be the 20, but I'll ship it to you, and it'll be signed from me and my son. So I wanna thank you guys for watching, and uh, check back in a couple weeks for those follow-up videos.